to just because his cap is still so low. Only four and a half million, four point three million next year. That's totally worth it. I mean, his overall still eighty-seven. That's going to go up. I, I would think with his confidence. I'm glad I didn't re-sign Jake Ryan, the NFC Defensive Player of the Year, because holy shit. He went from average backer to, like, horrible. So, when it says penalty, that's what my penalty would be if I traded the player, right? Yeah, I think so. To just ride it out with Petonio for another couple of years until that bonus money gets down a little lower. Wow. That's really frustrating. Yeah. It's it, He's still an 84. That's not bad. No. He's still the sixth ranked left tackle in the NFL. And then if I move him back to left guard, he'll be up at like. He'll go up, I think, two. I was like, Gronk, he's still an 87, but. His speed is now a 76. Uh, catching is a 76 now. Wow. I can't believe the game would regress him that much, but he is 34. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, you have a lot of terrible old players on your team. Me? Yeah. Well, I have a bunch of free agents. Uh, oh, 23 man. to be exact. Yeah, like your two best players are like 34 and then 77 and 79, or your two oldest players, rather. That comes up to a 30, so this will probably be the last big year you have with them. That's why I'm not resigning him. Probably gonna trade him away before the draft. After the draft, I mean, for a first round and a second round pick for next season. Uh, I don't know if you get quite that much. I think I will. I don't know, I feel like, I mean, yeah, it was, yeah, with his overall being so high, probably, but with the, his age being higher. I think the game stats, like, absolutely, I'm about to find out if they matter. Good lord, my home, my home's cap hit in 2027 is 52.2 .2 million. It's his final year? Yep. Holy shit. Well, good luck with that. Uh, we're not gonna be playing by then. <laughs> Oh, come on now. Oh, I'm serious. I don't think any of us are going to keep playing by then. I'd be shocked if we make it another two. It's a $25 million cap penalty if you cut him now. Move my homes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not worth it. I don't know like what situation it would be worth it to cut a player for that much money. I don't think he's ever going to regress that bad if for some whatever reason we keep playing this franchise and played a long time because of him being a user quarterback and constantly using him all season. I don't yeah. think he'll regress that bad at all. He'll probably retire at like 40 with being an 88 overall or something stupid like that. Stadium is down to a one. Everything's at zero except the concessions and parking. I have a two hundred and eleven million dollar in funds, but I cannot build a new stadium because it's a sixty-five, and it's I'm, only twelve years old. I have one hundred thirty-two million.
wish I could sign a coach. Or the computer assigns me one next week. teams hiring unproven coaches to inject life into the franchise. Who's that about? Uh, you're probably gonna fall out of your chair when you find out who... Yeah. Uh, Matt Nagy. the coach records. I don't know, mine's gone. I'm sure my guy's probably the winningest now, except in the playoffs. Uh, second winningest in the playoffs and winningest overall, percentage-wise. Uh, Tony? Yes. Griffin Murphy got hired by the Steelers. I know. It's fucking bullshit. I'm not really worried about it. If old man Dolphin wants to be my coach, then by all means, old man <laughs> Dolphin can. Old old man Dolphin's gonna become a winner. I do know what you mean, because I played him one time. I played them like two seasons ago or whatever, and I was like, who is that guy on the sideline? I thought he was a real guy, but then I realized he's just a generic old guy. Well, what's weird is that in the game, the Dolphins coach, his name is Victor Stranger, and his avatar is, is a, an old black guy. Like, black guy. And instead he gets like... I don't know who, who to compare that guy to. Who is the worst career win percentage? The discount John Fox? Kyle Shanahan is the worst real life coach Watch win percentage wise. Life. Well, yeah, because he was with the Redskins, or no, he's with the 49ers. And... Frank Reich is 40 and 40. <laughs> Where at? Is Adam Gase not hired by anybody, or is he probably a free agent? He retired. Did he? Yeah, I think he retired last season. This with coaches and retiring. Jeez, he retired early. Gruden retired early. Fucking my guy retired early. How is Jason Garrett a level one coach? For the Panthers? Jesus Christ, so is Mike Zimmer. Mike Tomlin's a level four. Sean McDormand. These guys have been head coaches for like almost a decade. Don Harbaugh's a ten. Mike Zimmer's a one. The river a river goes a one. Where the river yeah, wins. Anthony Lynn's twenty three. whenever we decide to progress. Oh. And we just did. What? Yep. We just... Oh yeah, because JB's on autopilot. God damn it, son of a bitch! Get back in the game! Wow, I have 32 players on my roster now. That's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Why? I have two receivers. Because I'm, I'm rebuilding this entire team through, like, the draft. Not a bad idea.
I see Dixon Stuckey is a free agent. Yes. Okay. Well, that's probably gonna make JB mad. He knew he was a free agent. Well, then that's not as bad. Clinton Morstead's asking for $27 million for three years. Stafford, $8 million one year. 35 years old, 70, 79 overall quarterback. This is life just went like really fast for me for about four minutes when we advanced the week. Why's that? Because we went from like, oh yeah, I got my team, everything's cool, to your players suck, your coach is retired, you have no cap space. Harry Kill's still injured, so I don't think I can trade him. Oh, somebody kill me, please. That's probably I what all. I have no head coach. That's probably what most winning teams go through, though, or really it's all teams. <laughs> That's exactly what winning teams go through. Alright, who is the next coach? Can I even hire anybody? Fuck all of them. Hire Hugh I'm, Jackson. Oh, I'm sure it's like... Well, nobody. we have... Oh, Adam Gase. He's, he's still out there. Adam oh, Gase. he's a free agent. Yeah. So my options as far as real, work, real world coaches are Adam Gase, Dirk Cutter, Matt Patricia... Steve Wilkes, Pat Shermer, Vance Joseph, um, Pat Hugh Shermer Jackson. Ended greatly last time. Hugh Jackson, Todd Bowles, um, Bill O'Brien. Thirteen teams are bidding for a 28-year-old strong safety that's an 84 overall, and not a single one is bidding for Eric Berry at 33 years, 34 years old, 88 overall. Wow. I think I'm going to go after Bill O'Brien as my next head coach, because he already has expert scouting, increased weekly goal XP, a master trade negotiator. There you go. And he's a level 5, and he's the best available real-world coach. I was hoping somebody cool would be available. Matt Patricia's out there, but... Uh, yeah, fuck him. I don't know. I wish I could see, like, what other XP packages he has, because it... It just says he has expert scouting and increased weekly goal XP. Oh, Bill O'Brien's white. Bonus. That was Matt Patricia. coach is a level 11, but it doesn't show me anything that he has as far as, like, XP, upgrades. Yeah, I have 48 active players. so I can't trade him. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's out for 11 more weeks, so I can't even trade him until after the draft.
I'll pick back up with this later. I'm gonna head out of here. Alright. See you later. I'm gonna go eat some food. Sounds like a good idea. See you, Spears. Yes. I'll probably be back on in like maybe a couple hours if you guys are still here. Yeah. I'll, I'll be around. Possibly. Yeah. Later, guys. Later. Later. User disconnected from your channel. Well, this last two hours of Madden franchise probably couldn't have gone any worse. I'm really not worried about it.
Are you well? is eternal. What are you going to have for dinner? I have leftover taco meat, so I'll probably dump that on top of some chips and have some nachos. Yes, that's the good thing about meat. You can do anything with it and make it work. Yeah, like I can make a thing of taco meat and I'll have some burritos and nachos and I'll throw some like in some noodles or something, have some kind of like chili mac. Oh my god, I'm hungry all of a sudden. Or you could just eat the meat. Uh, I mean, I like taco meat, but that's a little extreme. Your days bring you joy. Tell me of your travels. Next one is on me.
We must not falter. Under scheme, and it says Browns head coach vacant, and it has a picture Watch of Matt Nagy. Okay. Oh, Matt Nagy. I'm not sure what to say about that. Maybe, maybe it just defaults to the last guy you had, but I don't have Griffin Murphy on my wall, so it's tough to say. My play looks reset too. Whatever. Here, I just need to get a head coach first before I set anything. Definitely reset your schemes first. I'll, I'll set them once I get a coach, which I should next week. I just offered Bill O'Brien a contract. Terribly concerned. Well, that's why you do the best you can with what you've got, because tomorrow might never come, or it might be worse, so... God, you're getting preachy on me now. I am. Savor today, for tomorrow may be the end. Right, well... Today may be the end. Well, why you live in... I don't know. Well, keep in mind, it's not the end, because you took advantage of what you had when you had it. Oh my god. So, from that perspective... Um... I traded for another first round pick, but I'm not going to go into the draft with as many picks as I have. I just got another higher pick to uh, trade out of and Ice Spears. Once I see the combine results, I'm going to know who I want. I'm going to bail out of about half of my first round picks. Oh, so, don't think I'm screwing anybody. I wouldn't be opposed to just saying one trade per year, because that would solve the draft pick problem. Well... And... In real life, they don't really do trades that much, once a year max. Although there are a lot of trades during the draft and leading up to the draft. Yeah. Well, mostly during the draft, but th those aren't... Yeah. Maybe the trade cap like fantasy football has. I don't think it should be one, but like three. I would say for draft picks, just trade draft picks for draft picks and not have players involved. Unless it's like... a good player. Like... I don't know. That That's maybe a... overall are better. What do you mean? Well, because part of the problem is that the, the CPU teams are way overvalued. Younger players. It, even if their overall is like 75. As long as they're a position of need, and especially if they're young, they'll give you anything for them. So what you're saying is, if you're going to be stupid enough to get rid of somebody that's really good, well, like if, if go it's, do it's it. kind of like it's like the realistic, the, the football. I get you. Move type. Like if Spears wanted to trade Odell Beckham Jr. at the trade deadline, and he wanted a first round pick for him, or a first and a second round pick, 
I think that would be a fair trade just because of how elite OBJ is. But if you want to like trade a practice squad linebacker who's a 72 overall and a third round pick for a first round pick, they immediately accept it because they really needed a linebacker. That, uh, no, that's not. I get that's you. Not a football trade. The AI will value the position rather than the overall of the position you're giving him. Yeah, especially if he's young. If, if, if you have like a 74 overall, 22 year old player in a position to need for the CPU, they'll give you anything. I just traded my 85 overall left guard to get that first round pick, but I also had to give up a. I gave up a third. Him and a third this year for their first, and then a. Uh, Six, I think, four and a six or something like that. Just bullshit picks like that. Yeah, that or just put a cap on how many first round picks we can go into with, which I would say would be four would be the max. Because that's the most that any team ever had. In NFL history. Of course, they weren't like one, two, three, four, but maybe like three. Uh, I would say three is better. Three and then just any position you want. I mean, because it's still a trade, and the computer's gonna hog those high round picks. Doesn't matter if you have a position where they really need you, still gotta be better a lot. Not really. For the Raiders' third overall pick, or whatever it is now, I gave up a 77 overall, and, like, I don't even know what else. Like, a really low pick to get a first round third overall. Well, where, where the rest of your draft go? Just trading for players? No, I might even trade that pick, honestly. Hold on, my game's gotten really loud for no reason. Let me turn you up. It's like what? nothing's happening, but let's turn up the background music ten times. Are you playing WoW? Yeah. Um, that's nice. I was really confused. You go through the desert where there's like, or not the desert, the jungle where there's 18 lions next to you, no music. Strolling on the beach, do 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 do. Da, 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 <laughs> like, da, da, da. <laughs> like what? <laughs> hey, hold on, hold up a minute. Yeah, there's not really anybody big in free agency I see that I need. Mostly because of the money. I'll probably draft whoever I draft then and then just do whatever I have left. So I'll just do the first, sixth, and seventh if that's what I've got. I mean, are there really any positions that you need? Mm, not badly. Like, I'd really like to get some linebackers going, but... It's not yeah. to the extent right now where I have a position that's like, holy crap, I need more. Like, either cornerback or linebacker right now. But it's Well, not... yeah, you, you solved your one big deal this year with getting your quarterback. Yeah, Elliot's good. He knows what he's doing. Well, short accuracy is like 106. It's only 90-something. <laughs> well, might as well be 106. Yeah, now that... Well, he's the exact type of player I needed. <laughs> yeah, and it helped a lot you... Dominated the Colts and yeah, yeah. I was just dipping and dunking. I played the whole Tiny Tim album, his first one, where he's like, "Wonderful, welcome to my new album," <laughs> <laughs> and it it didn't give audio because I guess that's copyright infringement. Yes, copyright refringement. Correct. He had some pretty good songs on that album, too. <laughs> if he says ew about Griffin Murphy going to Pittsburgh. Oh, what a headline, what a headline.
in all honesty, I, I think it's an improvement to whoever they could have possibly had. He's a level 28. They still had Todd Bowles from when JB was there. What's his level at? Or do you know? Four. Yeah, I think it's an improvement. You would think, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying 28's above four. Because it's all man-created, and maybe numbers don't actually exist. But in our world, 28 is very, very much above it. Unless it's golf. <laughs> or auto racing. I'm excited to do the off season. It's always the best part of the game for me. I like team building and trades and picks and signings and screaming about how I don't have any cap space. I almost wish we had the ability to like shorten our season, like to 12 games or something. Might make it more enjoyable. I hope we keep playing. I know we are, we're frustrated with it, but I think it's still enjoyable. I don't think it is that much. I'd rather do something else. That's my honest opinion. Because there's no challenge? Uh, it's not really that. Or it's not all that. There's not much challenge. Like, I could, like, watch a movie or something rather than play this or play that. I'd rather just play you guys, like, once a day than do this franchise. <laughs> Whether that's the challenge or if it's something else, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. players. I think if we had more human people it would be more enjoyable. Oh yeah, no question about it, but With three we, of us, then essentially. We'd but then we'd have to wait forever to play a game, which is fine in a way depending on how long it is. I don't mind playing once a week. Well, uh, I wouldn't say once a week. But I get what you're saying. I mean, even if we just had like two more people. I just I, I think the hard part is that we have we're each in a different division and two of us are in one conference and two of us are in the other so I'm only going to play Spears during the regular season once every four years I'm only going to play JB once every four years assuming he still plays and then I play you once every year just because we both finished first in our divisions that's why I was suggesting the idea of maybe all going to the same division because then we'll each get We'll each have six games against a user every year, but the problem you'd run into with that is that one of us, there's no way one of us would miss the playoffs every year, which is kind of shitty. Because like if we if if we were to win out every other game besides our division games, 
we'd be 10 and 0. And if we were to split our division games, we could, in theory, all go 13 and 3, and one of us would miss the playoffs. I don't know. But that's my only idea of the solution to playing more user games if we don't have more people. We'll see what happens with whatever we decide. Yeah, I mean, there's redeeming qualities of it. I do still enjoy parts of it. Uh, I like the user games and the team building. I actually don't like the off-season that much. I'm kind of the opposite, which is why I'm disappointed that the play is not as good. <laughs> yeah. Probably why your team sucks, too. <laughs> no, I brought up something about scouting to JB, and he's like, I hate scouting. I'm like, well, that's how you make your team better. Oh, I'm not saying I don't do it. It's just that I hate it. Or, no, I don't hate it. I, What's the word I'm looking for? Rather um, not have to do that to make your team good. Like, I like the simplified older games where you don't have to go through all that crap just to make your team good. You just play. But, yeah, like... I don't want to. The draft is fun. Yeah, like I don't want to do punt block training every week, but I have to to progress the positions I need to progress. You know, you don't actually have to do it, right? You can just sim it. But it doesn't give you as much XP for some reason when you sim. It does. It, it, if if you get gold once in a drill, you keep that gold medal, and, as, and if you sim that drill again after you get gold the first time you get the same amount of XP. Oh, so everything you've gotten gold in? Yeah. It'll, you keep if that. you sim it, it'll... Okay, well that's good. It's just, it, it's just if you don't have a medal in sim, you automatically get bronze. I gotcha. Well, that's, that's good why I, Yeah, that's why I'll play a drill that helps a position group or groups that I need help in. And I'll grind and grind and grind until I get gold and then just sim the rest of the season with that drill. Well, that makes it easier. That makes me want to play 1% more. Alright, well, there's only like 74 more to go. Yeah, that's just... how broken training is. Yeah, I'm sorry you actually had to do that so much. I didn't have to, apparently. But, yeah... I'm sorry you ended up doing that, chose to do that, I don't know. I'm sorry well, you did that, period. Well, I'm a master punt blocker on rookie mode now, but... On all well, there you go. If we ever go to rookie, I'll be sure not to punt. <laughs> okay, there we go. If you're on rookie, you won't. <laughs> Probably not, unless it went horribly wrong. The river speaks of your deeds.
May your pools be ever full. Maybe we should all buy 2K19 and just start a 2K franchise together. Well, if we did that, then I'd have to pretty much give up everything that I ever wanted in life and go ham on that, but I won't. What? <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's, I've never played that, and I never want to. I know everyone says 2K is better than Madden, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's well, just different, not really the better. The franchise mode is a lot more in-depth. It's, it's much more in-depth, but it's still like you don't care about basketball, it doesn't matter. That's why we still play Madden, because we care about football so much. You're talking about basketball? Yeah. Oh, I could care less about that. That's why I play, I play NHL 19, and I could take or leave hockey, but the franchise mode is more fun, so that's why I still play games once in a while. I've actually never played an NHL hockey game. I mean, the gameplay's fun. Hard. <sighs> I have to remind myself I'm not on the football field. I'll like go to do something or make a move and then just slide right past it. I'm like, oh, okay. Yes, they don't dive in hockey. No, and they're on ice, so they don't really hard to stop. Yeah, they'll dive and they'll just keep going. <laughs> I'll like try and cut right or something and just slide right past everybody. day to you. Have a good one. Hello.
something? Jade Serpent. Oh good, we're riding a magical underwater turtle. I'm trying to figure out where the crab is. Following you. Zach, you... You were right. I look back and he's there. Wait, that's the actual... Oh! The big guy wasn't there. 
I was looking at the little guy following you. I didn't see that the big guy was not there. I assume that's the crab you're looking for, is the big guy. Correct. Okay. I was I was just being retarded because I saw the little one. I'm like, oh yeah, he's right behind you. Uh oh. Yay! Mr. Krabs is dead. I don't think that's Mr. Krabs. Nah, Mr. Krabs looks nothing like a crab, really. <laughs> I see what crab you're talking about. You're talking about my spider-bound crab. My aquatic companion. Hey, whoever you're banging in video games, that's up to you, dog. Oh good, the turtle's back, I missed him. Oh, the crab actually is your companion. Yeah. What does he do? He fights other pets. Uh, it's like, it's like a Pokemon? Yes, that's exactly what he's like, actually. Yeah. But when he's not fighting, he'll just, like, be there. Emotional support? Pretty much. Hello. May the mists protect you. It's still recharging. 
It's not ready yet. I can't use that item yet. I'm gonna go eat my nachos. I'll be back in like 20 minutes or so. See what's going on. Enjoy your nachos. Uh, I probably won't. They suck. But the meat's pretty good, right? No, actually, they're really good nachos. I have pepper jack cheese and then like Taco Bell chips. If you've seen them, they're like sauce flavored, like mild sauce flavored. I haven't seen them, but I know they have those little like corn chips with flavor in some of the burritos they have. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I see. It's like they're supposed to taste like they're mild sauce. They have fire sauce ones too, but those are a little bit hot. They taste better though. I forget what burrito it was. I think it was like the crunchy something that had beefy crunch burrito. Yeah, that was the one that had the hot ones in it. I think. Yes, it had meat, cheese, rice, sour cream, and flaming Fritos. Mmm, flaming good. Yes, like you and your crab. Yes, I should probably eat that crab. <laughs> All right, well, you've been a big help, Munch. And thus ends the story of Tony and his crabs. Wait a minute. I have more crabs than this this crab. <sighs> All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All righty, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your crabs. Thank you.
Yeah. <laughs>